What up YouTube? This your boy down low back with another reply. This one is the Jaden Smith, the Cool Cafe. And I've got to say, this was ass. I mean, to keep it 100% with you guys, man, Willow Smith is way better than Jaden. And this is a damn shame. But truthfully, it's more of a testament on how terrible of a rapper Will Smith was. See, I mean, take me as an individual, man. When I have a child, I'd be damned if they put out any garbage fucking music. Simply because I spent way too much time doing this shit for me to know what the fuck I need to do for them to be fucking up my name. I will straight up kick in the booth of the lab and be like, God damn it, hold up. As long as you living under my house and you got my name, you is not dropping this bullshit. I will give my kids the tools needed to become a good rapper and then to promote themselves to become a famous one. But yet Will Smith, man, was always a gimmick fucking rapper. Not trying to take away the fact that he created some classics that's gonna live on forever like Summertime. But still, you cannot deny that he was ass. And now because of that, he passed that ass trait on down to his son Jaden and it's a fucking shame. I'm not going to say that the total mixtape was terrible, man, because there was hope here and there, man, and there was actually one decent track. The coolest track was the best track because that beat worked and he really didn't fuck it up with his lyrics or lack thereof. I mean, the best advice anyone can tell Jaden Smith right now, man, is to stop with this rapping shit, focus on your acting, and while you're doing that, you can continuously practice to get better at rapping. Because you are not ready to be put out there yet, man. You have years to go of creating your own talent before you're ready to get that shine. And if you let people like your father try to push you out there, it's going to ruin and end your career before it even fucking begins. But anyway, on to today's article from DownLopez.com. And today's article is being a no-show. And this is one thing that I fucking hate, but I understand why it happens a lot. See, there are a lot of independent rappers out there, man, that actually get shows, but yet they end up being no-shows to their own shit. And this shit is fucking frustrating because I know too many people that will go out and perform for free any place that they can get to. But yet these dudes who haven't done anything just decide, fuck it, I'm not going to show up because whatever's happening behind the scenes ain't right. And which the main reason why a lot of these no-shows happen is because promoters be trying to fuck over artists. People got to understand this and the best weapon that they have is just not showing up so they can get paid. But still, the only one who loses out in this situation is the fans, in which you as an independent rapper, you cannot shit on your fans. Sadly, these promoters, they got the game down packed though, man. When they pull in some crooked shit, they'll force you to sign something that says you cannot tweet about your event or whatever's happening behind the scenes because they don't want to be called out on their bullshit. Basically, as an artist, man, you get put in a no-win scenario, man, but you've got to do right by your fans. Like what Nicki Minaj did, she didn't show up for Summerfest or whatever the fuck it was and then she said I'm gonna make up for it by doing my own show. You've got to do something like this. 